Ah. Okay, so good afternoon. Uh, is this on? I know. Yep, be, we can hear you. Oh, you, obviously you can hear me. I want to make sure everybody else can. My name's Martin Hyde. I uh, remain a parent, a taxpayer, and uh, according to some unions now, also some kind of domestic terrorist. The, um, the Herald Tribune printed on their front page today, the school board had settled at a sexual harassment suit for $400,000. I beg to differ because uh, while the board caused the problem, by hiring the guy and exacerbated it by keeping him on, taxpayers paid the price, not the school board. This goes to my point and lesson today of choices with or without consequence. The consequence of being a bad, or let's call it what it is, shocking school board member is bad bu publicity, people wandering down your street, and uh, of course, not being re-elected if you tried. The consequence though of being a bad parent is much more serious. It's the nature of this permanent consequence that requires parents to participate in all aspects of their kids' public education. When I hear of a Northport High teacher last week putting fake news CNN on in a classroom when they were talking about vaccine mandates and requiring kids to sit up and listen, we're no longer talking about education. To use the cliche, it's indoctrination through propaganda. When I watch a workshop where Sarasota school board members being paid with my taxes discuss ways in which they can not only control what taxpayers say, but how long they say it for too, the tale is assuredly and correctly wagging the dog. Fast forward to the recent threat uh, by Attorney General Merrick Garland to use the Patriot Act and the FBI to strike fear into parents like you who might dissent and we're in a conflict that will end badly. Of course, the difference is, the way I see it, conflict's going to end badly for you. There are more of us, and we pay the bills. It's not terrorism to speak at the uh, school board. It's patriotism. We don't work for you or the government. You work for us. If you and the Attorney General don't like the heat in the proverbial kitchen, maybe stop turning the oven up with these outrageous attacks on parental and First Amendment rights. To be clear to the trio on the board and to Mr Garland, we citizens are not going to be pushed around by you anymore. To the current superintendent and the current board attorney, I'd remind you both politely that you work for taxpayers too. This time next year, you might find a couple of those currently angry taxpayers deciding both of your futures. That's why I said last week, it's a good idea to be nice Thank to you. people on the way in. Thank you. Your time has expired. Thank you. God bless you. God bless the parents. And God bless the United States of America.